Okay. So we're going back outside to that underground passage that we all gave up on. And this time with weapons? I mean, how much easier is it? Because, um, the first time that we did it, that was extremely difficult. And the controls were just straight up trash. I did not like the controls in that underground passage area. Okay, let's go to the backyard. Very long way to the backyard. Wait, only Kibo? Um, You're not gonna head downstairs? Shuichi, I have a favor to ask you. This hammer disables electro machines, right? Are you concerned that it will disable you too? Well, Why, of course I'm curious. The outcome will settle once and for all how Mio perceived me. Hmm. I don't think it's a good idea to test that. Remember the hydraulic press? Besides, it's supposed to use a lot of energy. We shouldn't waste it. I see. I see it would be a waste. Yes, we shouldn't be wasteful. So, robots pout too. Alright, into the manhole. Originally covered up in the third chapter. And now it's back open by Gonta. All right. Let's get started. What should we do? Are we really gonna be okay? What are you afraid of? Of course it's gonna be okay, right? Actually. You seem anxious too, Himiko. Huh. There's no need to worry. Of course it's gonna be a little dangerous, but... Don't worry about it. We've got all these ultimates here. If we all work together, everything will be all right. Huh. Yeah. We can finally fulfill Kaede's wish. So let's all work hard to escape this place together. And once we get out of here and make it to the outside world, why don't we all stay friends? That's right. Yes, we made a promise That's together. Right. Our promise to work together to get out of here and become friends. Now's the time to fulfill that promise. Hmm. I'll cheer for you guys. I told you. you need to do it too. That's right. That's exactly right. To keep the promise I made to Kaede. I will never give up. I can't give up. Lead the cheering to me. Now's the time to finally pull magical pom-poms out of my mouth. I want to see it, though. I haven't seen it in real time, though. Yeah. If the one who made these hammers was really Miyu, and if they really work, then that's also the power of an ultimate. I don't know what kind of help a cosplayer can be, but I want to fulfill my promise to Kaede. Right. That's why I've decided. I'm ready to move forward. All we can do is move forward. We won't know if this hammer is Kokichi's trap or the real thing until we use it. So how does Kokichi know this? All right. No matter what, let's keep our promise to Kaede. Let's keep our promise so we can mourn our fallen friends. I mean, we don't have time to talk. Let's go. All right, here we go. I come this far. I have no choice but to believe. With the hammer that Miyu invented, I know we can do it. I have to I have to believe that. I kept repeating that to myself as I step into the tunnel. How do I Are you okay? Oh, okay. Damn it. Oh, really? Okay. Oh god! Oh, I see! Okay. Ooh! Ooh, a pathway opened up? No, bro! What the heck? Do I just keep running? What? 
Oh, I can- okay. But crap, I have two characters left, though. Oh, I can keep holding this. Okay. I don't have to match anything. Woo! What? Oh, I have to jump, of course. No! No! Oh god, I didn't want to lose Maki there. Oh, I thought the thing could fall on me. Okay, where are we going? Wow, this is so, like... It's so cheap doing this. All I gotta do is hold A throughout this entire thing. Oh, we did it? Did we do it? Finally, we made our way out of the tunnel. It was so long, we thought there was no end. But there was an end indeed. And in the end, there was. Huh? Is this the exit? Right. It seems like it. Look there! Oh, my. oh, it's a door on the other side of that door. It's probably the outside world. <laughs> we did it! We can finally escape! Don't get your hopes up. We need to know if this is actually the outside world. You're right. We don't know what the outside world looks like right now. Monokuma is probably just lying to us. The skies over this academy are normal, so the meteorites are probably gone. Everything's fine out there. Anyway, let's open that door. We'll have plenty of time for talk afterwards. That looks similar to the electric barrier in front of the Exil hangar. Unless we disable that, we won't be able to open that door. Let's look around. So by the way, in the very beginning of the game when we did the underground passage, you can you, you'll end up over here. Also, you can do this anytime during free time in chapters uh, past chapter one. But obviously, the dead characters don't don't join us. That reminds me. This place seems less like a building and more like the inside of a spaceship or a submarine in some anime or sci-fi movie. We gotta find some way to get past this barrier. <sighs> we managed to make it this far because of Mew's electro hammer. Kokichi was actually telling the truth about them. I'm pretty surprised, right. actually. Just when you think he's all lies, he suddenly tells the truth. He is a very inscrutable person. <laughs> if Mew made these a while ago, we should all team up then. Yeah, if we'd done this back then, Gonzo would have been with um. us. Kokichi said Mia was too scared of betrayal to cooperate with us. Her fear of death made her more willing to kill us than to fight this killing game. That punk was brainwashed by the killing game. Well, there were still two Exosols then, and we weren't as rebellious as we are now. Maybe it was unavoidable. That's true. Well. Even though we've come this far, Monokuma hasn't appeared yet. How strange. He thought we couldn't get through the underground passage, so he wasn't worried. But now he's probably freaking out. I bet his face is all blue. Right. If so, then he wouldn't be Monokuma anymore. He'd be Blueberry. Ha <laughs> ha! For me, uh, Monokuma's distracting him. There's no way Kokichi would do that. I can't believe he'd do that either, but the hammers were just like he said, so maybe. It is odd that Monokuma didn't try to interfere with us at all.
I have to take down the electric barrier to open the door. Operation panel. No! There we go. Could it be... This is a control panel for the barrier. If it's like the one in the Exile hangar, I should be able to disable the barrier with the passcode. Mm -hmm. A passcode? Does anyone know it? We don't need that. Yeah. If it's electric, we just gotta destroy it with these hammers. It seems like this lock is controlled electronically, so we can use the electro hammer to open right. it. Let's destroy this panel with the hammers and open this big dumb gate. Then everything will be over. We can say goodbye to this academy and end this killing game. That's true. This death game is going to end. Yeah. Yes, at least we can return to our normal lives. Beyond this door is our normal, peaceful, boring lives. We'll be able to go home. It's those normal lives. The secret of the outside world couldn't be that awful, right? Let's go! Let's go! It's finally time to graduate from this academy of lies. With that, Kaito swung the electro hammer and... <laughs> Smash it down the control panel. Lock disabled. The door's unlocked! Now we just gotta open up this gate. Let's all work together. Finally, we can get out. We all ran to the door. And with our own hands, with our own strength, we opened that door. And our door to the future. A future of hope and despair. What is this? What's going on? What is this? I can't breathe. I can't breathe. The door is now locked. Barely conscious, we heard a sound in our heads. What happened? Congrats, you finished a killing game. Hey. Are you okay? Get it together. It wouldn't be funny if you died here, you know. See? Your lives are very precious to humanity. Huh? <laughs> well then, the fun starts now. It's finally time to reveal everything. I shook my head dizzy. The ground spun under me, but I managed to get to my feet. And at the same time... What was that just now? What's going on? On the other side of that door was... Damn. Where even are we? What in the world is going on? Hey, hey. Good morning, everyone. How are you guys feeling? Terrible? <laughs> of course you guys are, because you now know the truth of the outside world. Huh? <laughs> you saw it, right? The outside world you guys so desperately long for doesn't exist. What, are you talking about? what do you mean it doesn't exist? Huh? Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lying, so everything I say now will be the truth, okay? Okay. Everything began when that despair came falling from the sky. There was no way to avoid the numerous amount of meteorites raining down on Earth. The leaders of every nation realized that we could not escape the end of the world. Please, wait! The end of the world? What are you talking about? You better not interrupt me again, or I'm not gonna tell you anything, got that? Um. We should listen to what he has to say. <laughs> Continuing on where we left off. The leaders of every nation wanted to prevent the extinction of the human race. 
So they decided to implement a plan. The Gopher Project. A plan to place talented humans in a spaceship in order to help them escape the world's end. So that they may find another planet where they can preserve humankind. The Gopher Project wasn't implemented to save the human race, but rather to salvage the human race. 16 young and talented high schoolers were chosen for the Gopher Project. These Adams and Eves of the New World were known as the ultimate students. But the 16 students refused to partake in this plan. Well, it's obvious why they wouldn't. Surviving alone? Family and friends left behind to die? That's just hell right there. So then, the 16 students decided to flee from the project. They erased their memories to forget their ultimate talents. To become normal students. <laughs> but it is around that time a certain cult organization rose in power. Those who believed in the end of days were convinced humans deserved the meteorite's wrath. When they discovered the Gopher Project, they plotted to sabotage the plan. That's when the ultimate hunt began. The ultimate hunt affected all society. Those influenced by it searched for the 16 students. As a countermeasure, the organization responsible for the Gopher Project spread misinformation claiming that all 16 students had died. That was our memory of the funeral. With this, they were able to quell the ultimate hunt, shelter the 16 students, and carry out the Gopher Project. The Ark's launch succeeded, despite the meteorites and the destruction of Earth. The 16 ultimate students were sent off into space as humanity's last survivors. Oh, exciting! And that arc is the true identity of this academy. Huh? The ultimate academy for gifted juveniles is actually a gigantic spaceship colony. But how? We're in space? What? <laughs> This story isn't done yet. By the way, do you think it's strange? Why do you think the killing game happened on the Ark, humanity's last hope? Actually, the organization behind the Gopher Project made one terrible oversight. A horrible person hiding among the 16 chosen to be the last survivors of the human race. Huh? How exciting! It was the leader of the cult organization trying to crush the Gopher Project and they hid among the last survivors of the human race and prepared a robot on the ship. Yeah. And that robot is Monokuma. See? Originally, the 16 chosen students were placed into a state of cold sleep, and they were only supposed to wake up once the ship found a suitable planet. But Monokuma manipulated the Ark and brought it back to the ruined Earth. Hmm. Although the 16 were supposed to wake up on a different planet, they rose from their sleep. You know? And they are now here. Hold up. If we return to Earth, that means... What you guys just saw, that's Earth now. W what did you say? That's Earth after a few hundred years, while we were in cold sleep. And Earth destroyed by meteorites, without oxygen or living creatures. And Earth without any cities, or any people you knew. That is the truth of the outside world. Which means... There is no place for you bastards to go home to. That's why it's pointless to go outside. <laughs> the outside world doesn't exist anymore. What? Yeah. The Earth and humans have died out ages ago, except for the last 16 survivors of humanity. Ah. Well, last seven survivors of humanity. It's a lie! That's a lie! It's definitely a lie! I already told you I wouldn't lie anymore. I'm tired of lying, you know. So that means 
Jeez. Anyway, I gotta confess. You know that cult I mentioned earlier? The leader is me! Huh? So, the secret organization of 10,000 people, and you're part of it, is the ultimate hunt? Anyway. Which means the mastermind who snuck Monokuma onto the Ark is... <laughs> me! But how? You're the mastermind? I don't want to cr just crush the gopher project. I want to ruin it in the worst way possible. <laughs> so I came up with a plan. Let's have more fun. What could possibly be worse than the last 16 survivors of humanity killing each other? What? It's a lie! You want me to lie now? But you guys always told me not to do that. <laughs> I'll show you the in irrefutable evidence that I am the mastermind. Kokichi took out what looked like a remote control out of his pocket and fiddled with it. And a minute later... Exosols? What's going on? I thought only the Monocubs could control the Exosols. Well, I'm different. Since I'm the mastermind, I control everything in this school. <laughs> as long as I have the master remote control, all Exosols move on my command. So, you really are the mastermind. Don't tell me. You were always suspicious from the start, but for you to be the mastermind. Oh, man. You look like you don't believe me, Shuichi. I'm so disappointed in you. I even gave you such a huge hint, but you still didn't get it. How boring. I was waiting with so much anticipation to see when you guys would figure it out. What is it? You left that message for this? Maybe. But I guess that precious hint went to waste. All because you bastards trusted each other. Huh? Hmm. I told you, you guys should have doubted each other more. You guys could have realized I was the mastermind earlier, and there could have been less victims. <laughs> Actually, Kaede had the right idea to try to kill mastermind at the start. <laughs> Too bad though, if only she had killed me then, the killing game would have ended. Huh? <laughs> this is the truth to the killing game. Well, this turned out not so boring, right? Not anyone could have organized a killing game with the last 16 survivors of humanity, you know? Damn it. Are you saying it's the truth? Were we just being led around by you the, this whole time? You mad? You mad? So what are you gonna do about it? Shut up! Of course I'm mad! Always messing around. Don't think you've won just because you've got the X's on your side. Because we've got the Electro Hammers. Wh what? What's happening? Wow. Typical Kaito. I guess things aren't going your way. Lucky for me, you ran out of juice. What? At that moment, his Electro Hammer powered down, not just Kaito's. Every Electro Hammer powered down at once. Well, you know. I told you, didn't I? The problem is that it runs out of battery pretty quickly. But... But that lasted longer than I calculated, so I was actually starting to get a bit nervous. Did you calculate Ooh. that too? Sorry Kaito, your tiny brain is just too different from mine. Please don't. don't glare at me like that. Punching me won't solve anything either, you know. You can't resurrect the dead, and you can't turn Earth back to normal. Right? right? Always messing around. Even if that's the case, I can't get over it if I don't punch you. Kaito. Kaito, wait! I tried to stop Kaito before he ran off, but I couldn't grab him in time. <laughs> Jeez, your stupidity can't be cured unless you feel a bit of pain first. Stop it! But Maki's scream was in vain. Before our very eyes, Kaito charged at the Exazoles and was smacked down. He hung limply from the Exazoles' hand like a ragdoll. Kaito! Don't worry, he's not dead. But now you know, right? There's no use defying me, the mastermind. <laughs> These Exosols were originally machines to protect us. They were built to shield us from any danger that might pop up on other planets. But now I think it's hilarious how much they've become a threat to you guys. Give Kaito. Huh? Give it back. Her eyes screaming murder. Maki glared at Kokichi and moved toward him. No use. I won't let go. Even if you kill me, I can't let go. Please, Maki. Shuichi, 
Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Shuichi. But... but your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. They're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. What did you say? If this is the ending, then what are we supposed to do now? If the world is destroyed, and we're the last human beings left, what are we supposed to do from now on? How about doing anything you want? Well, you know. I know I started this whole thing, but I'm bored now, so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That's why I wanted to reveal the truth. I wanted to see the utter despair on your faces. Yeah. I'm totally satisfied now, so you guys are free to do whatever you want. Wait. Hold on, you were the one who started all this? That's so irresponsible. You guys can commit suicide together or kill each other. Or you can change your mind and stay here. You're welcome to do that too. Thanks to the school's barrier, there's plenty of oxygen. <laughs> it is the Gopher Project's Ark. It's supposed to be humanity's last hope. Oh, but did you guys know? The sky on the other side of the barrier isn't real. That's just one of the Ark's functions. It's meant to help us forget we're on a spaceship. So that means... So anyway, the killing game is over. Now you can do whatever you please. Huh? I don't know what to do. You bastard. What do you plan to do with Kaito? Ah. I just want him to chill out for a bit. Hot-blooded idiots like him are trouble. They do whatever they want without thinking about the consequences. If it's just him, I can deal. But if he gets all of you involved, then that's totally a hassle. Also, the killing game might start up again if I let him run away. So you're gonna kill him? So that means... Can I have the Exel Hangers alarm remote back? Huh? See? I was thinking that'd be a perfect place to keep Kaito in. Stop it. Don't give it to him, Shuichi. Shuichi. Hand it over, Shuichi. Bastard. Don't give it to him. You know what'll happen if you don't hand it over, right? This school is mine! I am the king! I, Kokichi Oma, am the mastermind and king of the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles! Yes! This world is mine! Sorry. What? I couldn't meet Maki's eyes. I gave Kokichi what he wanted. <laughs> Kichi's evil yet innocent smile stayed on his face as he took the key. And then he simply left. He solved the entire mystery for us and left. He left us there with the truth. The truth of our despair. Uh, um... She's got a thousand yard stare. It's no use talking to her right now. Which means... The Ultimate Academy is a spaceship, and we're the 16 survivors of humanity. This killing game we've been playing. Why pit the remnants of humanity against each other for a world that no longer exists? <laughs> and the mastermind who engineered all this and is forcing us to participate is Kokichi. Oh, no. I can't. My mind feels like it's about to short circuit. Am I okay? How could I be okay? The outside world, everything's destroyed, everyone's dead. Everyone's school, everyone in my neighborhood, they're all dead. What am I supposed to do now? There's no point in living anymore. Maki. I know. But... I just don't have the strength. I can't fight back. I can't do it. The whole truth was revealed. The conclusion. This is the end. There is no outside world. We're the only humans left alive. Trying to get outside was pointless, and we played the killing game for it. It was all meaningless. That's a conclusion. Nonsense! So what did all the others die for then? 
So this is the spare that Gonta fell. So much to spare, you want to die. It really is just like that. If it's like this, it would have been better if I die a lot earlier. And it's all over now. That's true. This is the end of everything. Our story ends here. There will be no more death. No more killing game. It's all pointless. The truth is... We should have all just died a long time ago. I don't even remember how I got back to my room. But before I knew it, I felt my body in the bed, numb. I didn't want to sleep. I just wanted to run away from despair, but the sleep came anyway. Did you know that when you talk to someone on a cell phone, you're not hearing their real voice? Their voice is converted to synthetic sound while you're both communicating. But by breaking down their voice into various waveform patterns, the phone resembles those patterns to recreate characteristics of the speaker's voice. This reduces the amount of voice data that needs to be sent to make the call possible. Also, you know how shave ice is flavored syrups such as strawberry, melon, and lemon? They're all the same flavor, the only difference is the aroma and the food colorings dye. Do you think those these facts are lies? Do you deny that these facts are lies? What would the world be like if all lies were denied outright? I bet it would be a very lonesome world. Lies are what make the world go round. Wanakuma must not be here anymore. There's no point to morning announcements now. So it's really over. There's no point to this killing game anymore. Because there's no reason to go outside. There's no reason to keep living. There's no reason to live. 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 This is an epilogue. All that's left is to take up time. What a boring story. There's nothing I can do anymore. I wonder what everyone else is doing. I wonder what Kaito's doing. Uh, okay. That's right. I wonder if Kaito's okay. Is he? It's no use. My mind isn't working. My body. If you're searching for the meaning of life, you're already doing it wrong. Your life doesn't need a meaning, it just needs a purpose. In other words, you just need something to live for. You can live for spending time with loved ones or chasing dreams. You can even live for eating delicious food or playing games. Most people can get by as long as they have something to live for. If you say Danganronpa is your reason to live, I couldn't be happier. It's been a real pleasure doing business with you. It's morning. How long have I been like this? I should get up, or I might not ever get up again. I don't care. If I just kill... Huh? My body reacted re reflexively as I heard the doorbell. Ah. Somewhat surprised, I even managed to get out of bed. I went to the door. Uh, um... Who could it be? On my feet, for the first time in a long while, I walked uneasily to the door. I slowly opened it, and... <sighs> you look terrible. Uh, Maki? Um, hey. Go take a shower or something. Anything to help your face. I'll be in the dining hall with everyone else. Huh? Everyone? Okay. I'll be waiting, so hurry up. Maki spoke curtly and left. Everyone is waiting in the dining hall? Uh, um... I guess I should go. 
I hurried and took a hot shower, then left my room. All right, with that being said, that is going to be it for this episode of Danganronpa V3. Wow, what a twist that everything has become here. I didn't think that we'd reach the conclusion to everything this early. So, I don't know what to think. But, I really want to figure it out, but that'll have to wait till next time. So... Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Dining Group of E3. And next time, we're going to meet up with everybody in the dining hall after suffering from immense despair. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.